Soviet soldiers put a flag on Mount Mithridat while taking back Kerch. A Soviet ship shoots its guns during a landing in Kerch. The Red Army started an attack on the German 11th Army in November 1941, and later planned to land troops on the Kerch Peninsula. The plan was to capture Kerch and Feodosia and involved a large number of ships, aircraft, and troops. The operation was supposed to be carried out in two stages, first in the Kerch region and then in Feodosia. However, the plan had to be changed due to the worsening situation near Sevastopol. The 11th German Army was worried about an enemy attack by sea but they didn't have enough troops to defend against it. So they had infantry cover the most vulnerable parts of the coast. The 46th Infantry Division, along with Romanian units and other troops, had about 10,000 people to defend against a possible enemy landing. The 51st Army got the order to start an operation on December 24th, troops started to concentrate in Temriak and landing began on the evening of the 25th, but the bad weather made it difficult. Different types of ships and vessels had trouble keeping up with each other. The storm made it even worse, delaying the landing by two to six hours. There were problems and losses during the landing, with some troops not reaching their intended landing areas. The Germans tried to resist the Soviet landing, but the operation landed about 2,500 paratroopers on the first day, with some returning back and others being sunk by German aircraft. Overall, it was a major setback for the Azov flotilla. The ships from the Kerch naval base took more than 5,000 troops from the 302nd Mountain Division, but the boarding was disorganized and the stormy weather made things worse. Some ships ran aground and others were delayed, so only a small group of soldiers managed to land in Eltigen, Kamish Buren, and Old Quarantine. They faced heavy German resistance, and many soldiers died in the fighting. Despite several attempts, they were unable to land the main forces of the division. The commander decided to regroup and try again the next day. On December 27, 1941, the weather was terrible and we couldn't reinforce our troops. The Germans attacked, and we lost three tanks. Things weren't looking good for us. The Germans tried to stop us from attacking again, but we kept fighting. We got some help from our paratroopers and ships. The Germans were getting ready for more attacks on us. On December 28, we were able to land more troops, but it was still tough. The Germans kept attacking us and we were struggling. They even said our soldiers were fighting really hard and not giving up. The Germans defeated one of our groups and cut off another. But things were a little better further south, where we managed to land some troops. But we were still having a hard time. By December 29th, it looked like we might lose the battle. The German army was sure they could destroy us. Our commander said things weren't going well for us. The situation changed when the Russians landed in Feodosia, near the German troops. The German defenses were weakened, but the Russians faced strong resistance. The Germans reacted quickly and sent reinforcements. The Russian ships suffered heavy damage during the landing. The Germans withdrew some troops from battles in other areas to reinforce their defenses in Feodosia. The Germans tried to fight off the Soviet landing forces in the eastern part of the Kerch Peninsula, but the Soviets managed to demoralize the German headquarters of the 42nd Army Corps. The German division tried to destroy the Soviet landing in Feodosia, but the corps commander had ordered them to leave the peninsula. The German sappers and artillerymen retreated, and Feodosia was liberated from the remnants of the German troops. The Romanian mountain brigade planned to launch a counterattack, but they couldn't be roused to the offensive. The Soviet units that landed in Feodosia went on the offensive, and the Russian tanks caused panic among the Romanian and German soldiers, leading to their retreat. From December 29 to 31, 1941, a bunch of soldiers, tanks, guns, and other stuff landed in Feodosia. Our troops managed to advance a bit and free Vladislavovka. The Romanians tried to stop us, but the Germans showed up and things got tough. We had to stop attacking Sevastopol. On January 1, 1942, our troops couldn't move forward. Then on January 2, we met some strong resistance in different places. The Soviet plan to free Crimea got delayed because we couldn't gather enough troops and supplies. The enemy was still not ready for us. The German planes were causing problems, attacking our transports and causing a lot of damage. They also managed to regroup their forces and attack us again. They captured Feodosia and took a bunch of our soldiers as prisoners. We had to retreat and switch to a defensive position.